Dialysis access refers to the site on the body where the dialysis machine is connected to the patient's circulatory system for the purpose of removing waste and excess fluids from the blood. There are several types of dialysis access, including 1. Arteriovenous AV, fistula. This is the preferred type of access because it is less likely to get infected or clotted. An AV fistula is created by connecting an artery to a vein, typically in the arm. 2. Arteriovenous AV, graft. An AV graft is a synthetic tube that connects an artery to a vein, typically in the arm. This type of access is used when an AV fistula cannot be created due to small or blocked blood vessels. 3. The central venous catheter, CVC. A CVC is a temporary access option used when immediate dialysis is required or when other access options are not feasible. It involves inserting a catheter into a large vein in the neck, chest, or groin. Managing dialysis access involves maintaining its function and preventing complications. Some strategies for managing dialysis access include 1. Regular monitoring of the access site to detect any signs of infection, clotting, or malfunction. 2. Proper cleaning and care of the access site to prevent infection. 3. Avoid activities that could cause trauma to the access site, such as lifting heavy objects or sleeping on the arm with the AV fistula. 4. Keeping the access site protected from infection by wearing appropriate clothing or covering the site with a bandage. 5. Properly flushing and using the access to prevent blood clots from forming. 6. Regularly check blood flow rates during dialysis to ensure that the access is functioning properly. 7. Consult with a healthcare professional promptly if any signs of infection or complications arise. Overall, proper management of dialysis access is essential to ensure that patients receive optimal care and prevent complications that could impact their quality of life.